Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Life Science with Nivedita. So this video is all about KSET and its expected cutoff. So if you want all the updates related to life science, health science, competitive exams and all, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon. I hope all of you have done. Okay, so all of you given your KSET exam in last Sunday, right? And all of you are waiting for your result. So here I'm going to show you the probable cutoff percentage. Okay, so without any further delay, let's get started. So this is about life sciences expected cutoff. Okay, so before going to this cutoff matter, you need to know about your marks, right? So how to calculate the marks and its percentage? So you write your examination for 300 marks, right? So for this 300 marks, I'm uh, taking one example. Okay, so any candidate, so he or she is score, the candidate will score around 150, okay, by seeing the tentative key answers and all. Uh, that candidate will come around this 150 marks. Okay, so to calculate the cutoff percentage, you have to divide this with 300 because we have to uh, calculate percentage, right? So that's why. So now this is come around 50 percentage. Okay, so now this will indicate your mark. That is your aggregate marks, and this part this will indicate your cutoff percentage. Okay, so that's why this candidate aggregate marks is 150 and percentage is. 50%. Okay, like this, you have to calculate your marks and your percentage. Okay, so now move on to the cutoff analysis. So this is 2019 cutoff, this is 2020 cutoff. So as I provided, this is 2020 cutoff and this is 2019 cutoff. So based on the category wise, so here for the general merit in 2019, the cutoff marks is 152 and 2020, 166. Okay, so when come to the SC, in 2019, 136, and in 2020, 136, and in ST, 140 in 2019, and 115, 2020. When come to the category A, 142 and 150. When come to the uh, category 2A, that is 142 and 150. The category 2B, 140 and 148. Category 3A, 146 and 156. Category 3B, that is 146 and 160. So just see the difference, how drastically it will change. See, in uh, 2019, 152. But when when come to the two, uh, 2020, it will increase 14 marks difference. See, and also when come to the category here also 10 marks difference. That's why we can't predict cutoff, but we can somehow uh, give expected cutoff. That's analysis, right? So how when come to the 2021 paper, uh, this cutoff will be, uh, you know, the cutoff will be released based on the criteria. This number of candidates appear. Okay, and also based on the paper level, okay, easy, moderate, difficult, the paper level is there, right? So based on that also, the cutoff will be dependent. And also level of preparation, because uh, you people all are now uh, locked on, right? So because of lockdown, the preparation level is going to be very high. So that's why these all things are including on the cutoff analysis, okay? And also not only your subject, all other subjects are there, right? That is 41 subjects are there in the case set. So that uh, candidates also including the eligible candidates. Okay. So according to this 2019 and 2020, the expected cutoff for 2020 life census is, so when come to the general merit, so if you are in the 170 plus, that is around 170 to 175. That is somehow like 170 to 180 is the, safest marks for general merit, okay, 170 to 180 or 170 to 175 somehow, okay, it's somehow coming in this range, right? So 170 to 180 is the safest part for general merit, okay? So when come to the essay category, so here around 150 to 155 is the safest marks, okay? So when come to the ST, so here 152 to around 160. Okay, this is the safest marks. When come to the category one, here also somehow like uh, 150 to 160 around. Okay, so and also when come to the category 2A, the same thing. When come to the category 2B, here also around 150 to 160 is the safest marks. Okay, so when come to the category 3A, it should be increased. Okay, so 160 to 170 range is the safest marks. And category 3B, around 165 to 175 is the safest marks okay so this is just um, tentative okay this is just uh, expected cutoff so if you are in the range like this 175 plus is the safest mark that is 175 to 180 
it may increase it may decrease we can't predict cut off okay but this is somehow expected cut off and somehow it will in for general merit okay for general merit somehow it is come come around in this range itself okay so calculate your cut off so this is for rest of the subjects like cut off marks and percentage of all 41 subjects because in case it 41 subjects are coming right so this exam will held on 2018 and uh, result will released on 2019 okay so this is 2019 cut off and also this is 2020 cut off okay this is 2020 cut off and examination was held on 27 september and result will be released on 8th january okay so based on this i will calculate your marks so somehow like uh, no not just very high vary just like somehow like 10 to 15 marks will vary okay around this marks only the marks will be vary it may increase it may decrease okay we can't predict but if you are in the 180 plus or somehow around 175 plus you are in the safest part okay so no need to worry if you are coming around in this category you can qualify and one more thing based on the category the marks will vary the percentage will vary okay and also one more thing if you want to know about how to calculate this all these things and all that is this percentage and all how they calculate you may get doubt right so for that i'll uh, provide the link in the description i will made a video on uh, scheme of evaluation okay how they will calculate this, this cut off percentage and how they will take on the aggregate of each uh, paper and all so i'll provide the link in the description so kindly check it out and this is about uh, this video so thank you so much for watching and stay tuned make sure to subscribe to my channel to get updates regularly so thank you so much for watching